Hi, this is Parker, and welcome to our first introductory review on how to start up and fly the Vivitar Skyview drone. First thing you're going to want to do is with the drone off, make sure it's in the off position, insert the battery. It only goes one way, but make sure it clicks in all the way. It's pretty snug in there. Then, I'm going to turn the drone on. Next, while it's sitting there, the lights are going to be blinking. Get your controller. There's two antennas on here, so I have one sticking out and one kind of at a different angle. It's just for more coverage area. We're going to turn on the, the transmitter. Um, the blinking red light down here means it's still acquiring more satellites uh, for GPS connection, so then it will fly. Uh, in the meantime, this is what we're going to do. First thing is to pair the transmitter to the drone. Uh, per the instructions, you go up, down, you'll hear a beep, and the there it is. Uh, it was As you hear that beep, that just means it's uh, still looking for GPS signal. Um, that's okay, I just hit this speed button down here. Just I hit it to low so it stopped beeping on me. Now the second thing you're going to do, the top right, you see right here, uh, that's to calibrate the internal compass. So we're going to hit that, and then watch what I do with the drone. going to continue to turn it clockwise until the red lights stop flashing. You can see the top and the bottom. They're still flashing, so I'll keep turning it. And let's see. Yep, they're solid. That's good. Uh, the blue and green are still flashing, so we want to calibrate it, holding it vertically. Hold it vertical at one of the red areas. Turn it like this. You turn enough times, everything will go solid. That's great. Now remember, red is the front, the green is the, green is the rear. Uh, as long as it's lit green, you still need to wait uh, for more GPS uh, satellites, satellites to be acquired. So we'll wait for that to turn red. Or sorry, uh, it goes from blue to green. So they're green, which they are. The drone is ready to fly, and this is what we're going to do. Uh, last step, the third step, is to calibrate the internal um, gyros by holding each stick down to the left for a few seconds. Lights on the drone will flash and stop, release. Drone is now ready to fly. Uh, and now there's only one way for this thing to take off. You can't do it just by inching it off the ground. You're going to hit up all the way and it will uh, hover at a few feet. And this is how it looks. Now that will turn on. If you let it sit there for about, you know, a couple of seconds, they will turn off. Or if you want to fly, press up and it will jump up to a position. Oh, see it when it turned off. So press up again. And again. And as you can see, the drone is just floating in the air. Holding position quite nicely. And there we go. Now to set it down, we'll just do the opposite. And I'll show you a trick to get it to turn off quick. Then ground effect. Damn it. Well, as you can see, these things, they set down not so nicely. Uh, when they touch the ground, you have to hold the stick all the way down for three seconds for it to shut off. And it wobbles around. The best way to just get it down and stop it, which you'll see not in this video, uh, is as soon as you touch the ground, 
hit the two inside buttons for emergency stop and it will stop the rotors immediately instead of sitting on the ground and having to hold uh, the down arrow to cut them off. Get better at that. Now that we're done flying, uh, turn the transmitter off first and we turn off the drone. There we go. That's a setup and flying of the Vivitar Skyview drone. Uh, next video will be uh, how to do some basic uh, flight maneuvers. Thanks for watching. Matt Parker.